And so the question that, you know, we, when, we, when we were producing the segment and everyone was like, you're, you got, you're talking to the Counting Crows, who's Mr. Jones? Marty. Marty Jones. <laughs> and that's it. The question is answered, everybody. It's Marty Jones. Thank you so much. You've been watching HuffPost Live. We're done forever. <laughs> who's Marty Jones? Um, our friend Marty. He used to be bass player in every band I was in until this one. And what was, what, was, uh, what was special about him? Why did you feel like you had to write a, write a song about him? Well, I wrote a song about me. I just happened to be out with him that night. <laughs> I mean, it's a song about two guys who are in a bar. I mean, we were in this bar. His father is one of the only Americans ever to uh, make it as a flamenco guitar player in Spain. Oh, wow. David Serva. And uh, he was in California playing with his old flamenco troupe in the Mission, and we'd gone to the show, and we were out with the flamenco troupe, and we were drunk in a bar. Chris Isaac's drummer, Kenny, was in the corner with, like, three girls. And, and we were just thinking... Chris Isaac Trummer, very popular at this time. <laughs> well, we were in a San Francisco band. They were you know, just right. a little bit, a little bit older than us in San Francisco. And uh, it just seemed like, if, you know, we couldn't even manage to talk to girls. But if we, you know, we were just thinking if we were rock stars, it'd be easier. Right. I went home and wrote the song. It's just, you know... And did you expect, I mean, when you wrote the song, when you guys recorded it, you were like, this is going to be, this is going to be a good hit. This is, this is no, catchy. No, no. It, it wasn't even a single, really. Really? I mean, the label didn't want it as a single. They wanted a... What was the song? Murder of One, because it has that Jesus Jones drum beat, you know, and they wanted to, but they wanted to edit it, and I wouldn't let them edit a song. Uh, and they thought the, we all thought the hit was Rain King. Um, really? But Mr. Jones was going to be the introductory song to go out. No one thought it was a single. I mean, it's an iconic single at this point, you know? Uh, it's, I, when, when I was looking at it yesterday, it just like watching the video and hearing the song, it brings back so many memories for me. It is at this point like such an iconic symbol of that, of that period of time in music. Yeah, it's weird for us because, you know, we're just making a record, and there's right. a lot of songs on it. Sure. And this happens every record in a way. It's like, and then some song gets plucked out because the record company thinks it might be a radio hit. Although in this case, they didn't. I, that was, we had a fight over it. I wanted to put out Mr. Jones. They wanted to put out Murder of One. Um, Why did you want to put out Mr. Jones? Well, I just wasn't going to let them edit a song. Oh, okay. so Murder of One was too long. I just thought it was a good introductory song. It really didn't think it was a hit or anything. Mm -hmm. Back then, you, you kind of threw out like an introductory song before you put out the one you thought was a single, mm -hmm. which was Rain King. Um, but it just happened. Yeah. I mean, really, it's not really what happened either. It, it was really playing Saturday Night Live and playing Round Here that blew us up. Because Mr. Jones really? was a big hit on the radio, and the record wasn't even in the top 200 when we played Saturday Night Live. Then we played Round Here on Saturday Night Live, and the record jumped 40 spots a week for five weeks. Really? Went from 200-something to 170, 130, 90-something, 50-something, 11. 10, 6, 6, 6, 2, 2, 2, 2 for the rest of the year. Wow. 2, 2. Did it ever reach, did it ever reach 1? No, no. It no. stayed 2. P things kept popping up over. I imagine you were okay with 2, 2, 2 consistently. You were pretty happy with, with it. that. I was kind of freaked out, to be honest with you. I was just kind of <laughs> hoping it would go down a little bit. It was, yeah, like Lion King jumped us. Ace of Bass jumped us. Bonnie Hayes. Lion jumped, King! Not Bonnie oh, Hayes. Bonnie Ray jumped us. Yeah, there was all these things that would kept coming out and it kept jumping us. We were just right. 2 for a long time. And Ace of Bass, you were like, God, we just can't top Ace of Bass. They topped us. <laughs> what are you going to do?